So today we're going to be looking at the importance of tyres. Um, it's it's the one big thing on your caravan that is sort of going to get you where you're going or not where you're going. And a lot of people overlook the, the caravan tyres. And on this bailey we've got a little plate at the side of the caravan, which I'll show you in a minute, that tells us what the actual tyre pressure is. If you've not got that, um, in the description of this video or even popping up on the screen now, I'll put a um, the actual website address of where to go to. In the description of this video or even popping up on the screen now, I'll put a um, the actual website address of where to go to of how to put your tyre size in your caravan weighting, how many axles you've got, so whether it's a twin axle like this one or whether you've just got one set of wheels either side, so a single axle. You can then calculate what the tyre pressure should be. Um, and it's very important what your tyre pressures should actually be and what you've got them set at. Um, I'm going to set the tyre pressures on this one now, just show you how to do that, and then just go through just some of the importances of the actual tyres themselves. It's not all just down to the date on the tyre, um, which on this one we've got the little date. So it's the 06, it's upside down, so uh, it's 0618. So that's what it means that on this one it was built or fitted or made this tyre. This tyre was made in the sixth week of 2018. Um, so we're 2022 now, so we're literally four years old on the tyres so tyres really need to be replaced between five and seven years so four years perfectly fine you might just think yeah my tyres are in age they're only four years old not a problem we can still get cracking if the caravan stood for a long time we can still get cracking um, so you want to just double check the outside walls of the tyres for any perishing, any cracking, any marks. It might be that you've hit a kerb and took a big chunk out of a tyre. So again, we want to double check for that. It might be that something has come up off the road and actually caused damage to the tread of the tyre. So if you can, just have a good look all the way through the tread as well for cracking, uh, any damage, any marks, anything like that. But then, as I say, the other big, big one that gets overlooked is tyre pressures. So we're going to move on to that now. So I'm going to check the tyres on the caravan and on our little sticker on the side, this one fortunately tells us it's 35 psi that we should be at so um, I've got the compressor on and we're going to test and check all of the tyres just check all the pressures and just make sure they're all as they should be uh, I've got to fit a number plate as well so obviously this one looks like it is down and then our other ones look okay to be fair, but uh, we're just going to check all four. So we'll check these tyre pressures. So we should be looking at 35 psi. So we're literally just going to pop. She's down to about 10, so quite low. It still looks really low, but that is actually correct. So I think it's just the lie of the land as we've got a, probably a little bit more pressure on this side. Um, so it just looks a little bit lower than it actually is, but it is fine. Double check this one. Yep, perfect. And then we'll do exactly the same the other side. And that's all it is to checking your tyres, basically. Dead, dead easy. Worth doing um, on each journey, really. We've got a big compressor set up here, um, but you can do it off the tyre inflator. So if you've got one for your car, um, or if you've not got one, it's worth having one. And then just plug it in and just double check all your pressures before every journey. Uh, again, last thing that you want is a tyre blowing out because it was either over inflated or under inflated. Um, so it's not necessarily always just down to bad condition of the tyre. Uh, if you've overinflated that tyre or you've underinflated it, so it's been going a little bit um, 
under pressure over time and you've not been keeping an eye on them that can cause a big issue when you're towing so uh, it's not just always down to oh I've got no cracks and my tyres will be fine you've got to check those pressures hopefully that has gone through why it's so important of just checking the actual pressures of the tyres it's as, as important as the date and whether there's any cracking on there um, so just double check that you've made sure that your tyres are at the correct pressure and that should hopefully stop any problems when you're travelling thanks for watching i'm mark at the caravan place